zookeeper how zookeeper works internally so zookeeper uh, follows this uh, master for lawyer architecture so one uh, leader one uh, server will be leader in that uh, one thumbnail one thumbnail is nothing but a cluster of servers deployed so um, uh, the, uh, for any transaction to happen any update any state change uh, the uh, quorum of uh, servers have to agree on that uh, uh, change so that quorum uh, we have majority of servers on our or, or in our quorum so why majority is um, uh, if we have like fixed number let's say we take for simplicity two uh, i have some six servers so let's say partition happen two 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 can act as a uh, different uh, like this can have different master this can different have different master this can have different master which will produce to spin point scenario so in order to prevent that we have that majority n by 2 plus 1 is 2 n by 2 plus 1 will be the uh, number of uh, minimum number of servers required for that zookeeper ensemble to uh, function so uh, okay so if we have uh, even number of servers it would it uh, this ensemble will still work but the thing is uh, to uh, to take any f false we need to pl to f plus one servers so um, if you want two servers if you want to tolerate two servers being down you have to take two into you have to have two into two plus one five servers in that ensemble mm. let's say you have six servers still you can tolerate only two false two false have seven you can tolerate three so it is advised that go go with odd number so that you can tolerate more faults uh, it's not like if you have odd number it will not work so just uh, i will just go randomly uh, with what i read so the leader is something which acts as a sequencer uh, which means it, it it ensures that the right happens right happens right all this happens through uh, master read happens from any server any server even if it is observer it's fine it can uh, serve read even if it is not like it's it actually zookeeper provides an eventual consistency so um, even if the data is not with the 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 node which is serving the request I mean, latest data is not there it's fine it can still uh, serve the read but the uh, writes happen through master so what happens is master makes sure that the right all the writes happens in the sequence like whenever it wants to write something it creates a transaction with a transaction it attaches a transaction id which is sequential which contains epoch number and uh, version id uh, not version id like counter i think so which is sequential and uh, zookeeper was running in one single thread thread uh, so far like recently they they updated the multi-threading but still uh, which which makes sure uh, let's imagine it is running in single thread which means that it is ensuring that the rights the things happen in the sequence so the need for observer is like having more uh, number of servers in, uh, increases the um, uh, read throughput that's why we need to have more number of servers but if you keep on adding um, service to ensemble as followers it might affect the right throughput so it's better you add it as uh, observer so yeah as i said uh, here they have mentioned the transaction transaction any transaction contains uh, two two uh, important data one is that um, new data and the version number uh, i mean yeah for any any state update the version is updated the version of that node is updated uh, to make sure that uh, there is no changes applied in between uh, like uh, yeah i mean see all like uh, every every right is transactional so that it just happens once no nothing is interfering and uh, you, you have only one master and that master is sequential and it gives you re uses the commands in order so there is no way of like messing up two different things so what he's saying is transaction is side important like saying that as long as we apply it in same order uh, transaction is side important uh, so during recovery maybe they will like take the data from master and they will ap apply in same order so if a zookeeper generates a transaction id for each uh, each each command it uh, uh, it executes so like um, so the transaction id have a pocket counter with it 
ओके हाउ लीडर इलेक्शन हैपन्स इज लाइक आई वॉज चेकिंग हाउ हाउ अदर सिस्टम्स नोज अबाउट अदर लाइक ईच अदर सिस्टम सो वेल क्रिएटिंग सो वेल क्रिएटिंग configuring the system and so on so we him give this config file to look at that config file which uh, has some uh, information about uh, what is my uh, uh, singing timing and sync time uh, which says uh, followers can be in one sync uh, with for that period of time then what are all servers have and what is it is it um, in server or not uh, so so something like this we give so if we here give uh, colon observer then that is observer it is not included in any uh, i mean it is not included in quorum uh, basically so uh, this way uh, other servers knows about like all the servers in the cluster knows about other servers so if you are adding a cluster adding a new node to cluster you will have all this uh, and uh, one more thing we put um, this uh, uh, id also in inside the data the data uh, folder we put the id id of the server which uniquely identifies that server so if you have here we have two ports one port the first port is to communicate uh, to server uh, like to master to leader and the next port is to uh, participate in uh, leader election so whenever uh, whenever uh, we start a server like yeah for adding uh, new node uh, we add all the servers like say let's we have uh, three servers running we are adding two more so we add uh, three servers plus four and five like the one maybe one will be missing uh, like all the service configuration in this new node we'll start the new node um, and the old like uh, so this no this node is aware of other so other nodes okay so like uh, let's say like okay initially we'll start uh, with the proper setup like let's say i have three nodes and i'm starting all the nodes together so each server will be in uh, looking state it must uh, look for uh, existing server existing uh, leader or uh, it will try to become a leader if there is a leader the other nodes other followers will let it know that this is the leader so it will go and join it so this is where i got turned out how other servers will know about this uh so we each have the configuration if in that config file you put this server properties it will know else it will not know then from the loading state it will either begin uh, either come to leading state if it is a master or following state if they are like uh, fo followers in the example so how election happens is uh, each nodes uh, when it starts it started sending its vote vote contains to its server id plus its uh, its um, a transactional id the recent transactional id the word executor uh, so how we select a master is the one with the uh, maximum uh, transaction id is uh, like our id it will be our master if more number of servers are having uh, the same transaction id the one with the uh, uh, lesser id the first highest highest id wins okay highest i don't know i was thinking it is like I mean, it actually doesn't matter which wins. Lowest or highest is fine. I was thinking one will win, but maybe yeah, three can also win. So like, let's say now I am adding two more. Uh, let's say I am now adding two more servers. I have a master, two servers are running, two more servers I am adding. So I will put all those configurations in my new servers, and I start it. It knows, it knows the master. It will be syncing. Now I can bring down one of the ensemble after it got synced. I can bring down the uh, bring down the other examples and add add these information, these new two new information. And restart actually restart is required. It is not like auto re uh, loading and all. Even for master restart is required. Then the master goes down. Maybe the new master can be elected. So this is the one. Uh, server one, server two, server three. Server one is having ID one. Uh, I mean like um, and transaction six. It's it's having highest number of transactions. So, what happens is uh, each server will will be like um, uh, propagating it it votes. When it receives a vote, okay, it checks if this transaction ID is greater than mine. If it is yes, it will change its value and try to propagate the vote. Like like say, one six is propagated by six. So let's say that. Uh, 
because the ones I have got partition on the so it is assuming that some other server is partition which is the actual master. So when it tries to connect to the the node which it thinks it's a master, that node will not respond to its messages. So I mean it will not behave like a master. So then we find something problem with that and we I think we do interrupt manually but I'm not very sure about this part. I will come back to this later uh, but just want to make sure that there is no no way you can get this print by uh, scenario so this is about that zookeeper uh, uses atomic broadcast uh, protocol so uh, so how does any transaction happens like any write happens so whenever some uh, server which receives a write request it forwards it to leader so uh, so leader has sends a proposal message to all his follower and follower responds with acknowledgement like accept accept message saying that okay i'm accepting this and uh, the accepted messages are written to me the followers log so in the file system basically so uh, upon uh, receiving the acknowledgement from the core when majority of the followers accept uh, uh, the leader commits the message Uh, and sends a message to others to commit it. Uh, so this is the basic use case. So the followers accept uh, the messages only from the uh, leader who is following. Say there is some partitioning or something happens, or some leader which was serving went down. Uh, so uh, within the time it uh, comes up, uh, the new leader might have been selected. So uh, all the followers will check. Okay, this is my current leader, so I'm following him. So that when the old leader comes back, um, it might think there are possibilities that it might think itself as a leader now and start propagating message. So all the followers will uh, ignore that messages. So there are two properties which is followed. Uh, so if leader sends uh, messages instructions in some order. So all the follower followers commit the transaction, commit those comments in same order. Like we are guaranteeing ordering basically here. So and uh, uh, second property is uh, none of the followers will skip any transaction. So let's say that um, uh, leader has sent uh, as the uh, quorum of members to commit the transaction. Um, let's say. Let's say that uh, pro- uh, proposed something, master proposed something, and uh, before uh, mm, committing, like it has, it has, it it has got the accepted message from uh, quorum of servers. Uh, before sending the commit, the master dies. So what happens here? So what happens is a uh, new master is selected and. Uh, okay so we select a new master which has the most mm, something we have to remember is uh, we always choose a master which have highest transaction id so uh, the master has all the committed transactions so far uh, the only problem is what if something was proposed by old master and uh, Uh, and uh, which was accepted by quorum of uh, uh, quorum of uh, servers uh, before committing the master dies. So in this case, what uh, what uh, the uh, new master does it uh, before starting serving any uh, before starting any transaction. it makes sure that it connects to all the uh, i mean available followers and uh, uh, make sure if there is any uh, transaction which was accepted not at committed commit this and if it has anything anything yeah everything is committed like say it, it itself is a node which has accepted so it commits everything then it starts serving the uh, new requests uh, one thing to remember is at any point in time uh, two 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 masters cannot have quorum support uh, let's say uh, one two three was 
like let's say there are five roots and uh, 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 let's say there are five roots and uh, and uh, master accepted uh, master 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 uh, uh, initiated some transaction which was accepted by uh, two one three let's say master dies so in the new core let's say two uh, three four are in the let's say two four and five are in the core so uh, if you see like say two is the master if you see at any point of time you will have some root which was part of the previous core so that mm, it okay uh, say let's say uh, a root accepted something but um, now the new core doesn't have uh, uh, i mean the new ensemble like new set of servers which is alive doesn't have uh, uh the strength to for the core like become a majority then that will be discarded mostly yeah observers are just to um, uh, increase the read throughput 